The coalition gained a statewide swing of more than 6%, but in some electorates the movement of votes was even more dramatic. It picked up at least a dozen seats, most of which were in Melbourne's east and southeast. One of the most significant wins was in Carrum, which had been considered safe Labor territory. Nick Parkin reports. Against all the odds, Donna Bauer is now an elected member of parliament. I was quite shocked really and, and it still hasn't sunk in. Ms Bauer needed a swing of 6.7% to wrest the seat of Carum from Labor's Jenny Lindell. She outdid her own expectations. 10.3 is the prediction um, and the count's still going. That's just, I believe, a, a fantastic result. Labor was dumbstruck. We'd polled Karen, by the way, uh, and it showed us comfortably retaining that seat. So we just didn't expect to lose it. But for some residents, it was no surprise. I've been all my life, I've been a Labor, and uh, I said I want a change. The people are expecting a change and they want to do something new now. So I reckon this will be positive change. Karam is one of a number of southeastern Bayside electorates that's seen a significant swing to the Liberals. The others are Frankston and Mordialic, and one issue common to all three is the state of the Frankston train line. And it is a terrible performing line. It's a line that is, is enraged and uh, you know, upset people massively. Another band of seats now under Liberal control are those in Melbourne's leafy east. The Women's Affairs Minister Maxine Morand lost her grip on the ultra-marginal seat of Mount Waverley, while the Gaming Minister, Tony Robinson, has been kicked out of Mitcham. I always understood um, that what the marginal electorate giveth, the marginal electorate taketh, and uh, it would appear that's what they've done tonight. Other eastern seats to fall include Paran, Forest Hill, Burwood and Gembrook. The winds bring in a new pool of Liberal talent to the Parliament. The first Liberal Member of Parliament in Waverley and any level of government for 11 years. The people have been telling me that the government has lost touch with the people and that it was certainly time for a change after 11 years. But the change wasn't replicated in regional Victoria. Labor clung on to some key battlegrounds, including Ballarat and Bendigo. What we've seen here in Bendigo is a very strong endorsement of John Brumby and Victorian Labor's vision for the city. But despite the government's best efforts, Labor couldn't stop the swing in Seymour or South Barwon. Clearly that was uh, unable to, to uh, combat what was a, a attitude of its time, let's give the others a go. Now the electorate waits to see how those others do go. Nick Parkin, ABC News, Melbourne.